Hi, I'm Pete Kutzer from the Orvis Fly Fishing Schools. Today we're going to talk about the double haul and making a quick presentation towards moving fish. There are times when we do have to gain a little bit more line speed. Let's say we're dealing with windy conditions, casting larger flies, maybe a little bit more distance, and that's when the double haul is going to come in play. Believe it or not, I use the double haul whenever I cast say over 30 feet. It actually takes a lot of strain off of our casting hand. Uh, it makes that cast easier uh, when you're dealing with those longer distances. Before you start the double haul, you want to make sure that you can get that pick up and lay down cast consistently, nice smooth tight loops, and your shooting line consistently as well. Once you start to shoot line, then we can think about that double haul. The double haul does require a little bit of coordination. It's kind of like patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. However, it's not as difficult as you might think. We can break it down into its very simple forms, but first we need to understand how this cast works. When we make a basic back cast, we're starting with that forearm, bringing that rod back, then applying that little pop to a stop or that little flick. Then when we come forward, we're doing the same thing just in the opposite direction. Think pop to a stop, pop to a stop with a smooth acceleration in between. When I start to haul, the haul actually does the same thing as that flick to a stop. I'm going to lock out my wrist and just tug on the line and you're going to notice that that line starts to jump behind me and in front of me. There's one key part though we have to think about with this double haul and that's the reposition. After we tug on this line, we have to drift back to set up for that haul on the forward cast. So we come back, haul, and then drift, set up, you know, maybe a haul of 18 to 24 inches, then haul and drift on the forward cast. Haul and drift come forward, haul, and drift. We don't have to reach all the way back up here by that guy. This is gonna kinda contort you a little bit, make it a little difficult to get that haul. Just up near the reel, so we're set up for that forward haul here. Haul reposition, haul reposition. When hauling, or when practicing hauling, you're gonna do the same thing. You might make a couple hauls and false cast in between, but then you wanna make that nice haul right down by your pocket, shoot that line, and that's gonna help get that line to roll out. It's a little bit more of an aggressive haul, not too much more, but that's gonna help make that final delivery cast. So we haul reposition, haul reposition, then when I deliver that cast, I'm gonna make that nice haul down by my pocket, remember to feather that line, back up underneath that finger, closing that bale, and then we can start to strip that line back in as we're fishing to those fish. This video is made possible by Fish USA, America's fly shop. Visit us today at fishusa.com.